Hey, Brad Lancaster here, author of the books Rainwater Harvesting for Dry Lands and Beyond. And in this little quick video today, what I want to show you is just how much greater success you can have with plants self-seeding, germinating, and growing to success if you first plant the rain so they've got more water available to them to germinate their seed and to grow once the seedlings arise. Check it out. So, um, in the record drought we were having just before the rains arrived and all this great green growth popped out, um, we did lose uh, some plants. So one was a superstition mallow. It used to be about five feet tall right here. You can see uh, here's the, the dead stalk from it. But the sweet thing is uh, if you plant the rain, uh, you are creating these wonderful microclimates in which seed is much more readily going to germinate. And so we have all these awesome little baby superstition mallows that are popping up from the seed. The mother plant dropped uh, before it died out in the drought. So we don't have to go, you know, buy another one or whatnot or plant another one. It planted itself. Um, so we're going to get that superstition mallow back. And the, just the key thing is, is if you plant the rain, um, you are going to get more of that direct rainfall within this basin and you're going to get more run off which becomes run on. So your chances of germination and success after germination are so much greater than if you were just to plant say out here where there is no planting of the rain. Here there's a slope the water is draining off into here. So this is your spot of maximum success potential. All right.